all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's another morning where we need to do stuff. <clears throat> so I want to fix. I want to do some changes to her. Hey, Isra, how's it going? Fantastic. Awesome sauce that Isra Carrion is here. Good morning, uh, my friend. <laughs> hey, ZL in the radar. Concept Sam 95. How's it going? Welcome back, Nereida. It's always a pleasure to have a Nereida here. Hey, Lerib, how's it going? Busy is good. Busy is good. I absolutely understand that busy is happens, and that's good. Good for you, man. Good for you. Worse would be, I'm out of work. I don't have anything to do, so I'm here all day. That's uh, that's less good. So that the fact that you have stuff to do, it's perfect. <laughs> All right. Hey, Ricky, 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 Ricky. What up, yo? So I'm gonna. I wanna redraw this one, and I'm, I'm gonna run p through a little bit of what I like and dislike. Like I like that connection, that that line, but the fact that it's running down like this ruins for me the the flow of the character. Ah, that's a shame, Nereida. But work is work, you know? Uh, I like the the frilly edge. I think I'll I'll make it larger. I'm not keen on this little lip kind of thing uh, above her ear. I think it would be better if it was was like that because with that edge it looks like it's clasping and I want it to be elegant so it needs to be like defying gravity sense you know like the more you rationalize a shape that way the more functional you make it but when it's cosmetic it needs to kind of just be there right hey so much monsters you're in man fantastic how cool isn't that? Uh, I really enjoyed your stream earlier, by the way. So much monsters when you were playing with those shaders. Looks complex and fantastic all at the same time. Hey, Georg, how's it going? Throw those gang signs out there. Boom. Atsuki. Hello. String maker. It's a human. It is a human. Where are we time? Let's start the clock. So the game plan is I'm, I want to redo all the line art. Uh, so I, I'm going to put a time on 15 minutes. Uh, at the 15 minute mark, I'm hoping um, that the line art is done and that um, And that uh, I am uh, able to go and um, and do a blocking with a shadow pass. So my goal is within these first fifteen minutes is uh, have the blocking fixed and line art fixed. So ideally, um, ten minutes. Of redrawing the line art, uh, so I'm I'm gonna try not to read too much of the chat. <laughs> um, improve on some shapes, like general care, um, and then 15 minutes of shadow pass. And the idea of the shadow pass is to um, get a readability in there, and also um, 
um, some out. Also um, get the background in, so it sits with the other concepts in the same in the same um, same line of concepts that we've been doing. But as it's a limited time stream, uh, it's chaos. It's chaos. It's pressure. <laughs> Feel the bird. Hey, Quentin, how's it going, buddy? Uh, Eric, uh, yeah, I know it's a little bit funky. I'll, I'll, I'll try to correct that. Um, also, her neck is like wrestler neck. Hey, slow wonder, how's it going? You're in finals. I guess you're talking about football. Fantastic. GG football team. <laughs> Which I have no connection with whatsoever. Everyone knows I did the hard, hard work for the football team. <laughs> I made all the goals. Give me all the glory. That's something I've always uh, found interesting. Uh, and I always mocked my co-workers. Um, hey, Bruno Romanos. Quentin, yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being silly. Like being salty with, uh, with football fans. Uh, that's always something I've been... I have not really understood when it comes to football fans. I I I don't care about football, um, and uh, they always say we won. We we scored, and it's like, uh, excuse me, did you play? <laughs> did you play in the game? Why are you including yourself? Uh, like what a group of dudes did on a football field. Like you are a you are a you are an observer. Like you're not the part of that team. <laughs> but you know, I I understand the whole uh, fan aspect. Like that you you connect with them and you, you you are you feel that you are an extension of of their efforts, right? Like because you are such a fan. I get that part. But it's always funny. Like when they say we won. Did you play? You? Hey, Kirill, how's it going? Yeah, they lost. Yeah. <laughs> He's right, yeah, absolutely. Uh, dear part, yeah. No, I mean, I, I get it, I get it. I'm, I'm just being... Uh, uh, what's that word? Facetious? You know, I'm just, I'm just, um, you know, I'm just being silly. I know the whole idea about uh, team spirit and all that. I got it. I got it. Relax. 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 Okay. Where are we time? Holy god damn it! F five more minutes. Alright, right, 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 right. Shit. We can do this. We can do this, people. We, we can do this, huh? You see? You see? Ah, psychology. I just moved your finger that much closer to the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so good. That is so good. Oh man. <laughs> uh, so good. Ha, ha, ha.
Awesome, Georg and Bruno. Yeah, I, I love you guys. It's so much fun. So much fun to sit here and draw together with you because I know most of you also draw. And it's just really cool. It is a nice team spirit in a way, you know, like we, we, we are we are like a, a, a tribe, like you said, tribal thinking. It is. It's, a, it's also nice to feel a part of something, you know. I think that's better. So where are we, where are we with time? Do I have time to do a quick? I have to do a quick book. <laughs> I made this drawing. Yeah, that meme. That meme is is brilliant. That's so good. Have you seen that meme? It's like a an, a guy or a person showing a a drawing. Like, look what I drew. And um, and uh, there's a guy or there's a character looking at it. And then going, I made this. After, you know, the other person looking. Like, they, they took the glory in their own name. Here we are with time. 22. We got two more minutes for the blocking. Holy. God damn it. We can do this, we can do this. The blocking is simple, luckily. Uh, the colors are easy. Not a lot of switching between tone, uh, hues. It uh, should be... I just need to clean it up. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, time, time, time. I can do this, we can do this. The pressure is on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay. Yes. Uh, sketches. Where is that one? Come on. The background. Okay. Yellow, green. I'm not going to have exact ten, uh, 15 minutes for uh, coloring. Oh, maybe I have. Actually, I have. 10 minutes have passed for line art, that's right. And then I have 5 minutes to do blocking, and then 15 minutes of shadow. Oh, that's good, that's good. Uh, Stringmaker, yeah, I mean, sh share URLs for your portfolio in, this, in the chat here. So, okay, it's all good, it's all good. Concept uh, Sam ninety five. Uh, it's a pleasure that you uh, you um, joined us. Join us! Join us! <laughs> we will take over the world. I, what do you guys think? This green that I used for the the dress, it's very um, it's very like medical green, like medical utility green. What if we made it like classy gray? You know, a little bit more low key, so it's not two tones, but just one tone, so that the the yellow gets emphasis, and then. Um, I think that that might be better. What do you think? What do you guys think? Uh, 
I mean, obviously, I don't know. I think possibly it would be better with gray because it becomes becomes more classy. Let's see the awesome blue rib. Man, that's awesome. That's sick. Work zone vibes. Uh, yeah, and the green is medical. Yeah, hmm. It's a tricky one, isn't it? It's like, what to do, what to do. We're over the time. Two more minutes of this. Maybe she could have like a silver bang. Looks more elegant with grey, yeah, I agree. Yeah, mustard and, and uh, olive is not like revolutionary color theory. What if we do it like an in-between tone like this? That... So it's not so heavy industrial, but it's like half, half and half. So we see it's a, uh, ooh, what if, what if we do uh, a gradient? That kind of puts it in a space of, of design, right? I kind of like that. That looks, looks kind of nice. And then, of course, we, we put in the, the highlight. Yeah, exactly. You never like half and half. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely goes purple there. It's, it's cool, it's cool. It ha got this nice flair to it. Um, where are we with time? Oh, we are 40 seconds away from shadows. God damn it! Uh, I need to do a little bit like this so we get the, the idea that it's transparent. Um, I need the skin tone in there. Shit. It is what it is. It's not going to be perfect, but it's time for, for, for shadows. It's like, it's a this is a great lesson for, for people that uh, are, are struggling with overworking their art. I need to double check how I did this highlight. Oh, I did it one all the way up there. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta add that there as well. It did that. A lot to the characteristics. Anyways, right. Like I said, for anyone struggling with overworking their uh, their art, make a force yourself to stay within a time zone <laughs> or a time limit, rather. You'll see. Actually, let's not have Shadow that way because she's always facing crowd so we should have the shadows going towards the back uh, otherwise she's going against the direction of action right <sighs> if that really matters but whatever we're doing it so now we get um, yeah that's really better now we she's facing the light reads is clean. <laughs> Eric, yeah, is definitely a, a production type thing. But the thing is, this is a very, like, a very hard um, 
deadline. Like I, I'm, I'm. We're talking about like the the importance of one more minute, right? But if you if you have a painting and you're painting on this painting for two weeks, right? You have two weeks to paint it. Then it doesn't matter one minute. One minute has no has no weight to it. But if you're going like, okay, should I spend one more week on it, or is it good enough? Like, does it do the job that it needs to do? It's the same. Like, it's this is of course in a micro uh, micro scale. Like, if I if I uh, when I say it's it's good enough, let's move on, right? It's like is this is the saying of uh, point of um, what's it, what's the saying uh, diminutive returns? God damn it, English. The idea is like at what point the more time you put in, you're actually not winning anything. You're actually losing results. Like the 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 time it costs to to work on it versus uh, the uh, end result. You could sit and work on a painting for years. Question is, is it worth sitting there and painting it for years? What's the, what's the, like, what do you win out of it? So it's very important to, to keep in mind <coughs> that aspect of, 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 of a painting. Like, okay, maybe I don't need to sit here and doodle on it. Maybe it, it maybe it is good enough as it is. Now let's let's start the next one. You know? This is the classical. Like, when do I know it? When a painting is finished. <laughs> oh, like glitter. Um. Yeah. That's uh, that's a bit trickier to make uh, within the time frame, but uh, I I in my mind I created a shortcut to do that. So if time allows, which I think it does, uh, I'll try it out the glitter. Um, so my solution to when you said glitter, I I, I was thinking shiny, right? And and, and glitter is small particles of ref reflective material like in paint right like uh, that's how how it glitters it's it's uh, in off angles to each other so it reflects the light differently uh, Eric yeah absolutely hexagonal pattern um, the problem with the hexagonal pattern is that it's a—it's uh, what you would assume there would be, and for me, hexagonal patterns are way more um, industrial than than uh, fancy. And obviously, she's a singer. Um, And I don't think she would like to be associated with industrial things. You know, if she's an opera singer, for example. She needs to be like, you know, the the classic um, from... Um, from the good old times of like western etc they referred to a lot of singers of of like singing birds and all you know birds have like a um what are what's it called when they have their coat of feathers like they're beautiful looking <laughs> She's singing in industrial style. That's true. They're like mechanical noises. <laughs> Grinding noises coming out of her mouth. That would be so jarring.
it would be pretty fucked up. So where are we with time? Eight minutes. That's oh, okay. Good. Okay. I got this. Famous last words. Man, I love painting in the mask. It's so easy to control the gradients. You don't need to worry about edges, no nothing. Just, just power through it. It does require you to have a, a base to work with, but if you spend that little time to set the base, it's just smooth sailing. <laughs> Zealin, yeah, or your mind is glitched. Um, all right, glitter. All right, glitter, glitter, glitter. So what I <sighs> kind of what I thought I'd try was to make a pattern. Um. like that, right? And then paint uh paint a um, paint in the mask so it fades. Right? Kind of like that. You see? Scale it down a bit. I need to double it. And then, um, kind of like that. Something in the lines of that. I think that that kind of comes off as glitter, but also like a pattern rather than random. Question is, does it, is she removed from being classy? Maybe it's too obvious. Maybe it needs to be more low key. York, yeah, maybe. I don't know though. I think I think this kind of works. Um, I, I'll put a. I got five minutes. All right. Let's put a tone in the black, so it becomes a little bit more juicy, a little juicy. And then I need you to be. Snap. Okay. And then let's make a juicy gradient. <laughs> Just to kind of give the. I wonder if this would work. No, that's darker color. Overlay. And then we lower it. It does definitely make the gray, uh, the the base more interesting. Let's uh, let's slap that mask on. Yeah, that's better. I need to work on that shadow though. This ruins ruins the illusion. It's a weird shadow. I think it, it floats too much. It needs to be more flush. 
so it, it's a little bit more clean. Hey Japamo, how's it going? Uh, how many of these I have already? Uh, I think this is number eight, perhaps. Okay, let's let's put some makeup on. In the last three minutes, just to kind of make her a little bit pretty. Should she have like banana, banana colored lipstick? <laughs> That's not classy though. I wonder if like we can do a interesting pattern to help the the swoosh. Swoosh. It just looks looks bad. Too obvious. Subtle. Gotta be subtle. Little bit yellow, maybe. Hmm. How's it going, Japamo? How's how's work? How's the grind? Messy, messy, messy line art. It is what it is. Just gonna run the clock out, take a knee. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need, I need to correct tone. Can actually uh, maybe have like a she's reflective, shiny. Mm. Maybe. You're gonna take your holiday in two weeks. Oil for mascara, huh? <laughs> Oh man, yeah, but the banana prostitute, dude, it's so funny. Oh man, I look at that concept sometimes and giggle. It's so wrong. With that mustache and in the glory hole mouth. <laughs> it's just so bad. Oh god. Hey, Captain Jetlag. Just in time, buddy. up there. That's um, that's the performer finished. Hey Sayart! <laughs> what up Super Sayart? How's it going? How's it going? Let's see. Who can we attack? Who can we raid? Oh, that's pretty, uh, let's look at creative. Come on, creative, you can do it. That looks pretty dope. Looks like they've got skills. Skills to pay the bills. Oh, Disney Princess says tits and ass stream. Tits and ass. Oh, surprise, surprise. Tits and ass. Tits and ass. What's this concept stuff? Client sketches. Okay. You guys decide. This guy that does like concept sketches of for a client apparently, or the render person. Raiko Art. So 
So number one is the guy downstairs. Number two is the uh, sketch guy, concept guy, concepts. All right, let's go raid the concept guy. <laughs> yeah, just tits and ass everywhere. All right, let's go raid the concept guy, Christopher Cat. Christopher Cat. Let's go look at some concept art. Um, all right, fantastic. See you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Um, see you tomorrow morning at the same time. We do a new character with a new um, what they what they do. So this was performer. Tomorrow we start a new cyberpunk character. Be ready. Bye bye. Catch you on Discord. Have a great day. Toodles.